So problem two is evaluating the determinant of a matrix. And so they want us to find the following. DET stands for determinant. And they want us to find the determinant of 3, negative 1, 2, and 5. Okay, so all the determinant tells us is if there is an inverse or not. Okay, so if the determinant is 0, then you would say that this matrix has no inverse. If it's anything but 0, then it does have an inverse. And so there's a special formula to find the inverse of a 2 by 2. That was in our notes. The formula of a 2 by 2 matrix to find the determinant is if you have A, B, C, D, you take A, D minus B, C. So you take these two minus these two. So it's very simple. So I'm going to take 3 times 2, or I guess that's a 5. 3 times 5, which is 15, correct? And then minus, and kids forget that minus. I'm not sure why, but they always forget that minus. Minus this way. And 2 times negative 1, well, that's negative 2. And because 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Are you saying why is there a minus there? Well, that's a good question. The formula has a minus. Okay, so there's always a minus there. However, we have two minuses next door to each other, which makes a. Isn't minus minus the same thing as plus? Parentheses? Oh, around here? You don't need them, but you could. Yeah, but two minuses make a plus, so that's really 15 plus 2, which is 17. That is the determinant. So what that means is that I can find the inverse because the determinant is not zero. Okay? But they didn't ask us that. Next is a determinant of a three by three. You could imagine that it's going to be a little trickier. Okay? And there is a formula to find the determinant of a three by three. So if you have A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3, then the formula is A1, B2, C3, plus B1 times C2 times A3, plus C1 times A2 times B2, and then I usually add all these and then subtract, but it's A3 times B2 times C1, plus B3, C2, A1, plus C3, A2, B1, and you subtract all of that. Okay. Now, a lot easier way is if you copy these two first columns again and then you go blue 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 that makes these three and then you go yellow 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 that makes those three and then you subtract them that is huh? this one? Oh yeah this one is not used at all and this is this is used part of the yellow but you the B2? The one on the right. Yeah, that one's not used in the formula. Neither does No. Mm -hmm. I mean, <coughs> technically A2 is used, but it's used right here. Okay? And B2 was used right there. So they are used, it's just not twice. Okay? All right, so it's actually a lot easier than you think. So I'm going to copy down the matrix again. 1, 0, 3, 0, 4, 5, negative 2, negative 1, 2. And so to find the determinant of a 3 by 3, you copy the first two columns down again in the order that they appear in. Okay. And then you multiply. Okay, you go this diagonal way first. So what is 1 times 4 times 2? 8. And then you're going to add on 
the next diagonal. What's zero times negative one times three? Nope. Zero. I love matrices when there's a zero because if you see a zero, it's zero, right? Zero times anything is zero. And then the next one, negative two times zero times five. Zero. Huh? You add those three numbers and you get eight. Okay. Now we're going to go the other diagonal. So you're going to go three times four times negative two. What is it? Negative twenty-four. Add on. And that kids do get confused because we were subtracting here. Now we're adding. Right, so kind of keep that straight in your head. And then here, five times negative one times one. Negative five. And then this this will be easy. Two times zero times zero. Zero. And what is negative twenty four plus negative five plus zero? Negative twenty nine. Okay. Now you have two numbers. And so it's kind of like this is our AD and this is our BC from before. So you're going to take 8 minus negative 29. Okay? So these two numbers you always subtract in that order. Okay? Two negatives make a plus. 37, right? Oh, yeah, 37. Okay? So just to kind of help our notes a little bit, so this was from the yellow, right? And this was from the blue. So to find the determinant of a three by three, you copy the first two columns again, you go this way, add them, you go this way, add them, and then you subtract. That is all you do. So what I want you to do is I have a determinant of a 2x2 two two and a determinant of a 3x3. Three three. I actually need to add in the word DET here. I want you to find the determinant of both. <coughs> 